grand strategy refers to the broad package of ideas and propositions that states pull together to match their role in the world, their objectives in the world, and their political and economic needs. So in the case of the United States, which has been the world's leading power since World War II, grand strategy is about looking out at the world, figuring out where the main geopolitical fault lines are, and then looking at the resources available, both domestically and internationally, to deal with threats to international stability, and then trying to come up with a broad scheme, a broad set of, of, of ideas to match means and ends, to match resources and objectives, and in that way to try to advance both the interests of the United States and the interests of the global community. Well, I think the Academy has a, a particularly important role to play right now because we are at, at one of those historical moments in which the world is changing quite dramatically. Uh, power is shifting from the traditional Atlantic zone, the Atlantic democracies that have essentially been at the top of the pecking order since really the early 19th century. And now we're seeing power shift to emerging regions, to China, India, Brazil, Indonesia, Turkey, Nigeria, South Africa. And, and as that takes place, as that power shift takes place, global governance, international cooperation becomes more difficult and requires new ways of thinking, new rules of the road to get liberal democracies and emerging democracies, liberal democracies and non-democracies to figure out how to work together. And at the same time, many of the challenges that we face today require broad international cooperation, whether it is preventing the proliferation of, of nuclear weapons, global warming, health and development in underdeveloped regions. None of this can be done by any country or even small groups of countries acting together. You need very broad, aggregate kinds of political cooperation. And then one thing uh, that I, else that I, would, I think is important at this particular moment is that uh, Europe, the United States, Japan, the countries that, that have been at the kind of leading edge of the advanced industrialized democracies all seem to be having trouble right now. There seems to be a crisis of governability. The US is polarized, Europe is deeply divided over the bailout, Japan uh, is, is, is almost dead in the water from the perspective of effective policy. And I think figuring out why this crisis of governance is happening and what can be done to breathe new life into the, uh, the Atlantic democracies is, is a very important task, in part because of the first reason I mentioned. That is, the West needs to have purpose and resolve as it figures out how to build new kinds of global governance with the rising rest.